Hi guys, it's DJ here from Cozy RC and in this video I'm going to install a KST servo in the Cozy F1 over here. And I'm also going to run it again in this video, trying to beat my speed record, so stay tuned. KST servos sent me a sample for testing. This is one of their lower budget servos. It is digital. The operating voltage is from 4.8 to 8.4 volts. It is also a low profile servo. And on the other side of the box, we can see the torque that it delivers. So at 4.8 volts, the torque is 10 kilo per centimeter and the speed is 0.12 seconds. At 8.4 volts, this servo delivers 18 kilograms per centimeter and has a speed of 0.08 seconds, which is really quick. So let's open the box. And then let's also compare it with the current servo. This is an old digital servo from Copropo. It's a very good quality servo. But let's see how it compares with this one, weight-wise and of course also speed-wise. So let's open the box up. So this is how the servo looks like. I do like that the spline is from metal. It looks like brass. Let's put it on the scale to see the weight. 45 grams. All right. This is the servo that came out of the Cozy F1. It's a Copropo PS2173 FAT power servo. I used this one in my 1.8 scale on-road nitro car and it performed really well. And finally, I put it in the Cozy F1 for many years already. It feels heavier than the KST servo. So let's see. 55 grams. All right, and the KST servo is 45 grams. So it's a 10 grams weight difference. When we compare the size, it's a pretty big difference. All right, now let's check the speed. First test, KST servo. Looks pretty good. So I had to get a different lever because the red lever didn't fit the Copropo servo. But here we go. It's difficult to see the speed difference. By the eye, they look very similar. Power-wise, 10 kilograms per centimeter will be plenty for the KST because this is just a small outboard. So let's install the KST servo and then the next test will be running the Cozy F1 with this servo. steering links connected to the outboard and testing it. This KST servo seems faster than the Copropo. Sweet. All right, we are at the pond. I zeroed the GPS. I will connect the 4S LiPo battery. I'm going to run the aluminium prop. Let's see. There we go. Interesting. I'm not sure if this prop is faster. The bolt handles a little bit funny when it's really getting up to speed. Let's do another sprint. has more torque. It 
is fast. That's for sure. Oh, I flipped it. Just saved it. Ooh. No, I don't really like this pop. It's too unpredictable. Boat stopped again. Not sure what's wrong. Maybe the flex shaft broke. Right, I got the boat recovered. It was quite a hassle to take it out of the water, but I got it back. Let's see the speed. Eighty-seven. Just a bit slower than the brass prop. Yeah, I didn't really like this aluminium prop. The F1 got a funny behavior with this, with this prop, so I don't know why the boat stopped working, by the way. The flex shaft is still in one piece, so probably it's the ESC again, but let's see in the workshop. During the last run, I totally forgot to tell anything about the KST servo. Um, I was just too focused on getting a new speed record and keeping the boat on the water. But I got to say, this servo works great. Basically, I already had a very good servo in here, a Copropo digital servo, and this is just a great replacement. If you think that this servo is about 25 to 30 dollar or 25 to 30 euros, it has a great value. I didn't really notice any difference in the steering. Maybe it was a little bit more direct, but as I said, it was already great. So yeah, pretty happy with this servo. The additional benefit is that it is a low profile servo. I got my cooling lines and also the motor wires running from here basically to here and this low profile servo gives me some more space underneath in one of my next videos i'm going to rebuild my wild thing if you watched my videos for a longer time you must have seen it last season i ran it a lot of times this is still the fastest boat i got but yeah it got totally destroyed but i'm going to rebuild it with a carbon fiber inlay and it will be back in the water hopefully this season so stay tuned and i hope to see you next time Bye.